Welcome back, my friends. We are going to talk about a question that I get asked more than any other question. How do I make more money paired with where can I get the best loot? The problem is, is that's the wrong question to ask if you want to make money in Tarkov. So let's talk about it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Xfield and Hideout. My name is Ghost. If you guys have never been here before, I'm extremely excited you guys are here. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, where I'm just going to sit here and conversate with you guys about the fundamentals and foundations of eluding, because I feel like there's a lot of misinterpretations, many of those coming from when I first started playing the game to now. Before we get into the video, I stream every single day on Twitch, except for Sunday. I would love for you guys to come by the stream and hang out with us. We start pretty early, so grab some caffeine. If you guys like the content, make sure you smash the like button. It does go a long way for the channel. And if you guys want to see more Tarkov content, I have over 120 videos on the YouTube channel to hopefully bring you some value. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, and you can always hit the bell if you want to be notified when videos go live. Let's get into the video. In Tarkov, we have this question of how to make money. I need to make money and we have this weird thing where it's like you're either extremely rich or you're extremely broke. There's not a lot of people that are just like right in the middle. And so because of that, many common questions coming from a beginner or even an intermediate player that never really understood what it was like to make money and they're just doing like the I just do what I do to get by, right? They're getting enough money to run a kit. They run that kit, they lose the kit, they scav to get a new kit, and then they run that money to get another kit just so they can run one more kit. You know what I'm saying? So, which none of that is, is a bad thing. That's not even what we're talking about, but I wanted to like paint the picture of like what's happening. So the question that I get asked the most commonly is, where can I find the best loot and how do I make money? More money, I need money, I'm broke. Now, that is the wrong question. Let me tell you why. So when I first started playing the game, that was the question that I asked. Where do I find the best loot? I was looking for guides on YouTube. How do I make more money? Because I was broke as a joke. And I realized after playing thousands of hours, of Tarkov that that was the wrong question to ask and people were answering my question but it was not helping me make money the reason is is because the way to make more money in Tarkov is not to find the best loot or go to the richest places on the best maps the way you make money in Tarkov is surviving more it is impossible okay if you're pressing F if you are looting and you are living it is impossible to not make money the problem is, is, well, there's a couple problems that we're going to talk about. One of them, which I think is one of the main ones, is map knowledge. I think there's a lot of people that want to go to places like Labs. They want to go to places like Interchange and Shoreline, and they want to farm the routes that people are putting on YouTube, like we're putting this video on YouTube. And that's why I'm not dropping routes yet. I wanted to drop this video first. We're dropping loot routes for sure, for sure. We're dropping loot routes that you guys can follow. This video is not that. This video, I'm trying to change your perspective to maybe help change the way you see Tarkov. And that way in itself, you might be able to just make more money because your mindset is different. So they, will, they look up all these lab guides and interchange guides made by amazing people, by the way. But the problem is, is they don't know the maps. So they don't know how to get away when they need to. They don't know how to avoid PVP. They don't know where the loot spawns other than following a guy that's on their second screen. And so we have a problem because looting is about a lot more than just knowing where the items are. It's about knowing why people are where they're at, what routes people take. If you're gonna engage in PVP, if you're not gonna engage in PVP, there needs to be like some sort of game plan. And the game plan, it pairs very well with people not having map knowledge. The, the game plan, the lack of a game plan is very detrimental to making money because if you want to make money, you need to stick to the game plan. There is not money in PVP. I love PVP. I push PVP. There's not money in it. The most you get out of PVP is possibly grabbing an item that somebody didn't already stick in their container if you kill them fast enough and then you can take it. But mostly you're just grabbing gear that you might use again. 
That's literally it. None of that stuff is going to sell for much because it's not FIR. It's not found in raid. So you're not going to be able to put on the flea market. And the flea market is pretty much where you make all the money. So when you loot, you want to find items that have the found in raid status. PVP, most of those items are not going to have that status, which is why PVP does not make you money. A lot of people make a lot of money and they ruble farm. And then they do that so that it could fund their PVP addiction. Okay. So they do a little bit of ruble farming and then a little bit of PVP and then a little bit of ruble farming, so forth, right? So you need to have a game plan. You need to have map knowledge so you know what's going on. Learn the spawns, learn the choke points, learn the landmarks, know why people are where they're at. Um, and ultimately you want to know where the loot spawns and then you want to create a route or grab one from YouTube. That's where the route comes in. But there's a lot that goes into this before you just grab a route and you try to run it. Once you're comfortable on the map, once you know where things are and you're, you know what I mean? You've run it a lot of times, now you're feeling good. Now you can go and go to this loot and it's gonna be way more successful. When you have a game plan, it's gonna be way more successful. How many times, I'm, I'm gonna raise my own hand. How many times have you been filled to the brim with the best loot? And then you hear shots and you're like, oh, I kind of feel like getting into a fight right now. You get into a fight, you lose everything you just spent 30 minutes looting. And you're broke, by the way. So you need the money. How many times? It happens all the time. It's because we have a, 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 a double mind. We're going into the raid like, uh, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. If you have the we'll see how it goes mindset, I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna make a lot of money. If you have the we'll see how it goes mindset when it comes to PvP, you're not going to get a lot of kills. Things happen so fast in Tarkov, it doesn't give you an opportunity to take back what you start thinking. So if you go in there with a solid mindset, you're going to be way more likely to come out with loot or way more likely to come out with bodies, whatever you choose. Now, when you are looting, you want to avoid PvP. Okay, we just talked about that. You want to avoid PvP. You wanna make sure that you can get loot out of all the spots. And what I usually recommend is you wanna survive. So if that means starting to get to your extract right around 50% of your bag being full, do it. Fill up your bag no matter what. Even if it's trash, grab everything. And then start min-maxing with the things with the things that are more expensive. So like if I grab a gas analyzer in the beginning, okay? Don't just leave it because it's like, oh, that's that's 11K for two slots. That's really not that big of a deal. You're right, it's not that big of a deal. But 11K in two slots is better than nothing in those two slots. Do you get what I'm saying? So what you wanna do is you wanna fill up your bag and the, unless it's like absolute trash and you know that like a whole stack of that ammo is gonna give me like 20 rubles. So we have our route. We're min-maxing, moving towards the extract. Now we're making money. Every single time you survive with a bag that's 50% full beats all the other times that you got GPUs and Ledexes and Vertexes filling up your backpack with the amazing loot, but you die. And that's the other problem with some of these spots, some of these routes that I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna be dropping a series on how to best utilize your scav. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to make money on a scav and, and use it properly. I'm gonna be teaching you uh, some routes as a PMC and I'm gonna be teaching you non-abrasive routes and I'm gonna be teaching you high risk routes. These are the three basically concepts I think about when I'm looting. You have your scav, which is a completely separate concept. Then you have your PMC and you have to decide, am I gonna run a non-abrasive high money run, like high ruble run, or am I gonna run a high risk run, getting possibly good loot and also mixing in PVP and making sure that you get a little bit of uh, player's items and you're getting a little bit of loot. Versus, uh, I'll give you an example. That would be an example of like running um, Texco, Tech Light, Ultra Med at Interchange. Going that route, Rasmussen, you are gonna find really good items. You're gonna find GPUs, you're gonna find Ledexes, you're gonna find, you know, all of these other different things, maybe Bitcoins, but you're gonna run into more players because they are gonna be where the loot is better. Now, what people underestimate is filling up a Pilgrim backpack, right, which you can get off the flea market for like 25K at times, or off a scav, getting your Pilgrim backpack and filling that up with wires, and gauges and thermostats and hoses and um, tubes and all of that stuff where you can get 10 10k an item 12k an item uh 50 uh propane is 60k for four slots like you can easily do that over and over and over and have it be non-abrasive and 
have your survivability like 90%. Like you're most likely gonna make it out. If you can handle maybe a couple scavs, if you can handle a couple of player scavs and possibly a person, right? There's routes that you can run that are super non-abrasive. Shoreline caches, a lot of people that are in shoreline are running resort. Most of the time, if you're outside of resort, you have most of the map to yourself. You can run 36 caches or 34 caches, whatever you wanna do, and you can make crazy loot. Woods is the same way. Start running those stashes and hitting those high loot areas that people aren't going to. People aren't actually even there for the most part because it's such a big map. If you don't see them in the beginning, most likely you're not gonna see them later. You know what I'm saying? So like, you have to decide what you're gonna do and then you kind of try to stick to that and you are definitely going to make more loot. After all of that is done, we're gonna loot fast. Always loot fast and never loot out in the open. This is going to save you a lot. It's going to save you a lot of money because you're going to be surviving more. If you kill, you actually want to be a little bit strategic about where you kill scavs, especially scavs, not really players. You kind of like get in fights when you get in fights. But when I have a scav and he's crossing somewhere, I wait for him to either be on one side or the other. I don't kill him in the middle if I want his loot. Now, if you don't care about his loot, whatever, kill him wherever you see him. But if I want the scav's loot, let's say he has a juice cannon, he has a pilgrim backpack, he has stuff that I could visibly see like, I want that. Don't kill him in the middle of the, of the area because then you're gonna be completely exposed when you try to take those things. And that's where a lot of your deaths are gonna happen as an early beginner looter. You don't know how many of my deaths would be because I would be looting out in the open. I'd be looting, not uh, completely exposed. And people are just clapping me left and right because I'm in my, I'm tabbed in, dude. My volume's loud. I'm like, you know, I'm chilling. I'm like looking through loot. I'm, I'm not even paying attention to anything because I'm like, is this good? Is this good? Do not do that. You want to loot fast. You want to learn the key binds. You want to learn um, how to drag things to your body quickly and how to drag things to your bag quickly, how to put things from one bag to another quickly. Those are all things. Uh, learning the whole Tetrising thing, that comes with time, but you want to be able to do that quickly. So I'll give you an example. If you happen to kill somebody out in the open and you want that loot, drop your bag somewhere, drop your gun somewhere, learn how to click to body, click to, um, yeah, click to body, click to bag, make sure that you have space for it ahead of time. So if I kill a scav, it's not gonna have a TV 110, but let's just say he does. It's, let's say it's a Rashala guard, okay? He has a TV 110. Make space in your bag ahead of time for the TV 110, so you can literally tap his body, grab the TV 110, and move. Do not look through it out in the open. Do not be moving your stuff around, trying to fit it, spend 20 minutes trying to fit your TV 110. That's gonna kill you. You're not gonna make any money. Listen to me, you have to loot quickly whatever that looks like to you you have to learn to loot fast and the very last thing if you want to have the fundamentals of looting down use your scav your scav is there as a tool to make money there's no risk you get it every couple minutes depending on where your status is at with scav karma and other things in the hideout you get it very quickly you start out with free kits literally free kits all you have to do if you need a kit grab a scav, survive, use that kit, get more kits. That's, that's pretty much how it goes. An amazing opportunity to make money. Use your scav. Don't be embarrassed. Just because your favorite streamer doesn't use a scav doesn't mean you don't have to use a scav. Do whatever you need to do to make the money. So let's break it all down. In conclusion, we have looting 101 is comprised of map knowledge, okay? Map knowledge, create a game plan, Okay, once you get the game plan in your head, create a route, run that route, make sure when you find loot, you loot quick, and lastly, use your scav, okay? I know that this was kind of like a more informal way to do a guide, but I wanted to go over it because my first question was, how do I find loot? How do I make more money? And everybody told me where the high value loot was. It didn't help me make more money because nobody was telling me that the way to make money in Tarkov is living. It's not looting. I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. I would love to talk to you guys about some of this stuff, especially for all of you new players who have a million questions. Come and ask them in stream. Don't ever feel bad about asking a question in my comments or in my streams. Like I said, I stream every single day except for Sunday. I would love to have you guys by the stream. We start early, so grab caffeine, okay? But I would love to have you by the stream, ask all the questions that you want. If you guys got some value out of this video, make sure you smash that like button. It goes a long, long way. Thank you guys for all the support on 
all the content that has been happening lately. It's been absolutely amazing. And uh, if you want to see more Tarkov content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can always hit the bell if you want to be notified when videos go live. I believe in you guys. You can make Ruble. Okay? Hope you guys are very blessed. Hope you have an amazing day or night, depending on where you're at in the world. Make that Ruble, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Happy raids, my friend. Lion, I needed you. Thank you.